Hey, it's Steve from Objects Unlimited. Today we're going to talk about some unbelievable 3D printing and 3D scanning technologies we use and how they apply to cultural preservation in the museum world. Cultural preservation is a huge part of what we do and that's not always in a museum environment. Sometimes it can be in the field, sometimes it can be in a storehouse somewhere. And so when we talk about museums, we talk about collections that are existing that are in an archival position or things that need to be gathered out into the field. A number of archaeologists would use this technology when they're on a dig site, but you can also use it when you're uh, you know, looking through the barn and find an antique tractor that really needs to be captured and preserved. It's, it's quite a wide range of tools that we have available. So one application of 3D scanning is cataloging uh, a museum's collection. So often this is done with photographs, perhaps with some measuring tapes, perhaps with some written documentation. What a 3D file gives you is many things. One is the ability to rotate it in space. Another is an ability to zoom in and look at things in a high level of detail. The third is then to actually recreate that object uh, so that it can be handled, so it can be touched, so it can be shared, and so it can be analyzed. Lots of great advantages that photographs, unfortunately, just can do. I'll use the example of a dinosaur bone. If you take a dinosaur bone that is, say, yay big, and you 3D scan that full 360, you can share that file with someone. They can rotate it, they can turn it, they can zoom in and look at the pores, they can check out the discoloration at one end, and, and make a lot of inferences and things that they may not see in an overall photograph or in fine section photographs, being able to take specific measurements, cross sections, to be able to measure radiuses and angles and growth ring diameters. You can do this from a photograph, but from a 3D model you have it in different dimensions and you have the ability to, to really rotate and zoom in and, and see some detail. One great application of 3D scanning is the ability to then go and 3D print an object. Um, this does two things. One is it allows you to make copies of something. That lets you handle things. So these models here are actually 3D printed models of skulls that we have scanned uh, or that someone has scanned. Um, these models here are all 3D printed models of skulls and I can handle them and I'm not worried about breaking it because if I break it, I'll just make another one. Really good for education especially to be able to hand things out to, to classes to do dinosaur bone digs using replicas of real fossils. Uh, amazing communication tool. When you have a fragile object, for example, a piece of pottery, um, it's very difficult to recreate or capture that detail. You don't want to use a mold or actually touch that object to it, uh, because you could damage it. 3D scanning is non-invasive. We scan, say, a vase, 360 right inside, and then we can, we can recreate it. We can recreate it without coming anywhere close to the, the actual artifact. Um, some things you can actually turn over and get a full 360 scan. Some things you have to scan in situ, but you can still uh, capture far more information than any number of photographs will, will give you. Again, with the ability to rotate and zoom, which uh, really helps for analysis purposes. So in our experience, one of the most common needs for museums, especially in a post-COVID environment, is the ability to share their exhibits with people around the world. This helps uh, disseminate information, but it also helps draw people into the museums. And so we're seeing a lot of interest in digitizing the collections into a shareable form. Another application that we see in the museum environment is, is knowledge sharing. And so we've seen for example, bones or fossils or things like that that have been scanned and that data has been sent to overseas around the world for people to analyze, for people to recreate, for people to re-exhibit. Uh, it's an incredible way to share information at a level of detail with a level of accuracy and measurements the photographs just can't communicate. Objects Unlimited has been doing 3D scanning and 3D printing since 2011. We've worked with the Royal Ontario Museum, the Museum of War, the Museum of Science and Technology, and also many educational institutions where we work with archaeology faculties to use this equipment in the field to gather information. Objects Unlimited is the ideal partner for you in the 3D printing and 3D scanning for heritage preservation and uh, museum worlds. We have a ton of experience in this area. We have all, all the proper equipment for 3D scanning and for artifact recreation, both in a single and full color. And uh, you know, we are experts in this field. We sell this equipment, we support it, we use it. When you buy a scanner from Objects Unlimited, you have ongoing technical support. You have access to our expertise. And we get excited about the products that make you excited. There are some amazing things that I've got to scan over the years. I wish I could share half of the uh, incredible uh, artifacts, people, uh, objects that we've managed to capture, but uh, it's, it's truly exciting. And, and still, I still get goosebumps when I hear the, the bing of Artex Studio when it's finished creating a mesh and I look at my screen and this raw set of scan images turns into this like high detail, almost perfect recreation. Uh, still, 12 years, 13 years, still get goosebumps. It's fantastic. Objects Unlimited doesn't just sell equipment, we're also a service bureau. We offer scanning services on site 
or you can send your products to us and we offer 3D printing services using a wide range of technology. Lots of different applications in the museum and cultural preservation world. Please give us a call if you'd like to discuss.